Hey guys, it's the bugs are bad. Today we're going to discuss something a little different than normal. Not so much about my life. Something that you guys have asked me a million times, but I've never really actually had the words to say right there on the spot. I've had many of you ask me, Bugs, what's it like to be a streamer? Well, I'm about to tell you, both good and bad. And I'm not the type to sugarcoat shit. I'm sure many of you already know that. And if you didn't know that, you're going to find that out today. And before we get into this, do know I've been streaming for two years on Twitch. And most of those two years were about 140 hours a week. So to tell me that I haven't done a grind, you have another thing coming. I've had my triple digit viewer counts, I've had my double digit averages, well into the 20s, 30s, things are different. It, it always depends on different variables. But let's get into this, shall we? Streaming is way more than just launching a game, opening OBS Studio, and clicking Start Streaming. You are a marketer. You're an advertiser. You're an advertiser. You're a comedian. A life coach. A professional gamer. A therapist. An audio engineer. A moderator. A negotiator. A video editor. A professional speaker a teacher, and a commentator. I'm sure there's plenty more other variables that I'm not really throwing in there, but it's a lot of stuff. It's not just fucking sitting here and playing a damn game. Streaming is really fun. I started streaming because I had a medical professional tell me that I wasn't going to do many of the things that I loved doing ever again because I was permanently disabled. Things have been a lot better for me lately, but they're not wrong. I still have flare-ups, etc., and it, it sucks. Going out, trying to meet people with a severe waddle, like, I, I used to walk around like this, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit, that shit sucked. And just the thought of one random little spike up of pain, not little, trust me, could prevent me from walking. It could prevent me from bending anything, dude. And it was a very realistic possibility. So I stopped going out. I didn't want to meet people in real life. I didn't want to be embarrassed just going out looking like that and then having people look at me funny because I can't walk or anything. I just stand still like a fucking tree. But I'm the type to make the best out of anything. So I found a new way to meet people. Albeit not face to face, but it's still a new way to meet people. I love video games, I love socializing, and I love meeting people as a whole. So bam, I started streaming. I've met some of the coolest people I've ever met just by clicking that button. Some of these people were just really down to earth and I could have conversations about anything as long as it didn't offend anybody, which most of the time it didn't. Shit, I've had a few fiscally dominant months that made me feel really comfortable. Giveaways can be fun. It feels good how excited people get when they win something that they otherwise couldn't have afforded. I've built a community, one that feels pretty large to me. Yeah, it's, it's a large community. It's a community that revolves around everything that I've done. And I, I can't even begin to explain that. A lot of them have interacted with each other over the last two years as I've streamed League of Legends, H1Z1, Ark, on consistent levels, and a plethora of other games in between. When the broadcast stops, there's still a whole lot more that needs to be done to consider yourself somewhat of a successful streamer. Because at the end of the day, you still need to promote your channel in, in the most tasteful manner possible. You could be tweeting content, highlighting good moments, editing and uploading to YouTube, talking to your community on Snapchat, Discord, or Twitter, watching other streams. And I feel a lot of streamers slack on that. You're not the only streamer out there. But when some streamers do show up in another channel, and I've seen this not only in my channel, but others, there is nothing more cringe than watching you talk about your own fucking stream. Nobody gives a shit. I think some of the worst things that could be discussed in a streamer's chat, and I've seen this far more often than you would even imagine. I just finished streaming. 
I'm about to stream. One way you could, you know, mention this is that I just got off of work or I just got to work. Or I'm about to go to work. Something along those lines. You don't you don't have to tell everybody that you're streaming. Like, don't be a fucking dick. Do you want me to show up in your stream? Be like, hey guys, I'm about to stream. Like, come on. Or people say, where is everyone? Only X amount of viewers. What's going on here? Chat's dead. Oh, the stream's dead. I haven't seen this viewer in a long time. Where did they go? What are your opinions on insert political or religious discussion here? These are just common courtesy people. Come on. People have gotten a bird's eye view into my life, whether it's intentional or not. They've seen some of the most beautiful moments, the good moments, the bad moments, and even the ugliest moments. And all of this is unfolding as I'm clicking, stroking keys, <laughs> singing along with music, making bad jokes, just doing anything I can to keep people entertained. I've had people curse me out because I'm not playing a specific game anymore. Some people even try to go below the belt just to get a rise out of me for the most atrocious reasons imaginable. But keeping a straight face throughout a broadcast is probably one of the hardest things to do when you're streaming. Because once you click that start streaming button, you only have negative five seconds to forget everything that's going on in your life that's bothering you. Because that doesn't matter anymore. You need to keep people entertained. There's people coming out to watch your channel and they want to be entertained. So how are you going to entertain them if you can't even entertain yourself? I know everybody has hardships, but when you're live and trying to be consistent, these are things you need to remember. When you stream, you're looking for like-minded people. People that would mesh together in a community really well. Unfortunately, it's not always going to work like that. Some people just like to be a problem. Whether they're aware of it or not, that's just what it is. Some people love to be the problem. THE problem. Some people want to try to turn your community in something com into something completely different than what you've actually envisioned it to be. Some people actually just want to go for the ride and watch you grow. But they're not all going to be there at the end of the day. There's going to be people who come and they go. And some of them are going to be people you consider to be your friends. Like close friends. One day they just, poof, disappear. But you just got to keep going. I've had people who were regulars randomly stop tuning into my streams for a myriad of reasons. May it be due to drama within the community, or because I'm playing a game that they don't want to see. People have left because me and my ex broke up. And others have left for reasons I may never, ever know. Shit, I've had people that I've been cool with for months, over a year, that just randomly show up to my stream one day to stir up the pot and then just talk a whole bunch of shit and try to shit on everything in their path and everyone. Some of these people come back to apologize. Some of these people don't. And they just leave with the memories that we've had and stain them with the last memory that they leave me with. I mean, it's just, that's it's part of streaming. Like, <laughs> I, I guess, I mean, like, that's just my experience. And I'm sure that maybe some streamers haven't had that, but I honestly feel like this is just something that's part of streaming. I love my community, and I love a lot of the people that I've met in this this journey of growing my channel. But to think that I just click some button on OBS Studio and all of a sudden money just comes flowing in is fucking absurd. You are wrong. You are flat out, dead honestly, fucking wrong. Viewers don't just piss money at you. They are people. They have their own lives, their own jobs, and their own dreams to chase. People will donate money for the most random of reasons. Sometimes you said the right thing and they can relate to it so much that they donate to you. Sometimes you teach them something valuable, whether it be a life lesson or how to get better at a certain video game. Sometimes your facial hair is on point. Sometimes your cats had a fine reaction to the catnip and they're just like, wow, dude, this guy needs to buy more catnip. 
Sometimes it's just a long time friend just feeling generous. But again, to think that you just click a button and it just rains fucking money, you need to get out of your fucking... Your, your, I don't know what the fuck you're in, but you need to get out of it now. Again, I started streaming for the socialization of streaming. And people asked me to make a donate button. Before Twitch had affiliates, they asked me to get a sub button with Game Wisp. Like, everything that became money oriented with my channel, that was stuff that my viewers asked of me. But yeah, I've gotten kind of used to, you know, making some form of money each month from streaming. And that's, you know, it is it is what it is, but I've always got to remember, and you should always remember, that the whole point of streaming is to have fun. I've had people donate to me to try to persuade me to do different things. Whether they were very minuscule or drastic, I had my ears open, but like... I don't try to let money interfere, influence my channel. If I did, the atmosphere of my channel would change tremendously. It would pretty much just become an auction of who could pay more to make me do what they want me to do. And yeah, at the end of the day, maybe you'll get Donator X satisfied for the day, but who knows if they'll be there tomorrow. And when you're there tomorrow, like, and they're not, who else is going to be there? Because when you just swap games or change up your content, so does your community. Unless you've really found a niche that you can bring along to every single game that you play. Not like, oh, I'm the best Riven, or I have these crazy snap headshots. Like, none of that shit. I mean a niche. Like, I like to collect water bottles of different varieties and you have a whole bunch of other water bottle collectors that are just dying to see what the next water bottle you were going to collect is. Consistency is the most basic form of maintaining your community but at the same time it's honestly the most complicated in my opinion. But yeah I'm sure there's like a shitload of other stuff that I've left out but again I mean I love streaming. I fucking love it. I love coming on like honestly it's it's the most lovable when I have people there hanging out. I don't give a shit if they're throwing money at me. It's just nice to have people who enjoy the content that I create. You know what I mean? And it's been a fucking hell of a ride. A hell of a ride. But it's just... It's fun. But you have to make it fun. But this has hands down been the hardest vlog for me to make. Given that's not saying much, it's only episode 5. And I'm sorry it was two days late. I really fucked up my sleep schedule. I tried to do a 25-hour stream yesterday, and I like I couldn't do it. But I will be releasing another vlog tomorrow. If anybody would like to add to this discussion, maybe continue it in the comments. I'll be more than happy to do that with you guys. I do appreciate when you leave comments, you like, share it, subscribe to the channel, anything. But uh. Yeah, I mean, again, thank you guys for tuning in. You guys can find out about a Gleam giveaway that I'm still doing. Winner gets drawn on June 30th, so you only got a couple more days left on that. It's down in the description. If uh, if you want to check me out on all my other social medias, they're down there as well. I would greatly appreciate you doing that. It would be pretty dank. But uh, I will be here again with another vlog tomorrow. But uh, thanks again, guys, for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this this vlog. You guys have a wonderful hump day.